lot. So, hi, y'all. This is a much shorter dev diary than normal, or I guess a much less populous dev diary than normal. Um, You have myself, I'm Alyssa, and you have Jason Carl in Seattle. Hi, Jason. Hello, Alyssa. Um, So we have a whole list of questions from Kickstarter. Wow, that's glowy. Um, You guys posted a whole bunch of questions to our Kickstarter, which we really appreciate. Thank you, by the way, for all of the support. It's been amazing. We're over $100,000, which is incredible. I never thought we would do it, but we did, so amazing. Um, So without further ado, we have questions, some of which are rules-based and some of which are Kickstarter-based. So we're going to kind of split them up between Team Los Angeles and Team Seattle. Um, And if I mispronounce any of your names, I'm really sorry. I'm going to try my best. All right, so here we go. Juanita Nesbitt and Tamer Han both asked about how to switch to the deluxe edition without losing their pledge rewards. So there should be a bunch of tiers that are analogous to the hardcover and softcover tiers that we've already had that now that we've unlocked the deluxe, you can actually kind of switch over to. There are a couple exceptions. The limited tiers, things like Praxis Seizure, um, only came with a hardcover book. However, if you want to upgrade that to a deluxe, you can just add on $60 to do that, um, and we'll send you a deluxe instead of a hardcover. Um, there's a whole, we know managing your pledge and all of that add-on business is a little difficult, so there's a breakdown if you go all the way to the bottom of the page in the FAQ. There's a step-by-step breakdown of how do you do any add-ons, any ways to upgrade your pledge, or if you ever have any questions, you can message us directly on Kickstarter, and we're happy to walk you through. It's It's a little difficult. This is definitely our first Kickstarter, so thanks for bearing with us. We appreciate it. Um, Ted, oh, I'm going to ruin your names. I'm sorry. Ted Piersborn and Yocasta Martinez both wanted to know if all the hardcovers are now deluxe. No. There's a difference between the hardcover deluxe and the standard hardcover um, edition. We're going to do a completely unique deluxe edition. It will have the black leatherette covers. Um, We've unlocked the silver edged pages. Hopefully we'll be able to do more things like the completely customized Tim Bradstreet edition. Um, The reason for this is we wanted to make sure that for the people who wanted a hardcover that they could bring to games and beat on, they could have that version that was a little cheaper than the deluxe. And for the people who wanted this absolutely gorgeous art book, um, they could have that as well. So we basically wanted to, we know that the community has different kind of wants and needs and we wanted to provide for all of that. All right, so now Jason, this one's for you. Uh, okay, Luke Parsons and Sean Carter. Ha, I get easy names. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, Luke and Sean ask, uh, now that it's obvious that By Night Studios Mind's Eye Theater rules are going to do well, thank you, we hope so too, uh, are there any solid intentions to create By Night Studios reimaginings of other World of Darkness properties? Uh, the short answer is yes. Uh, of course, we want to do more. We'd love to do them all. Right now, we're very, very focused on Mind's Eye Theater, Vampire the Masquerade, and we're still discussing what books will be best to do next. We want to make very smart decisions as a company about any future publications, so our goals are going to depend on a number of factors, including what we think we can accomplish and what the community tells us that they want to see. Moving right along to Kyle Morgan, who asks, Will you be including reworking the status system? Absolutely. Uh, We believe that Mind's Eye Theater Vampire the Masquerade isn't just about thaumaturgy and bruja taking it on the chin from the venture. It's about the social dangers of vampire society, and so it needs systems that support social conflict as well as combat. Uh, We'll have a reimagining of the Mind's Eye Theater status system that will look very familiar to veterans, but that will give you um, a dynamic new social layer to the game. It's in development right now, so we aren't able to share it with you just yet, but it's definitely something that we feel very strongly needs to be included. Mm, Frog Dice, if that is your real name, Frog Dice asks, (laughs) what is White Wolf's involvement in this, permission, or whatnot? Well, it's definitely more than whatnot. Uh, As you may be aware, uh, CCP, the makers of the uh, hit um, web-based game EVE Online, uh, purchased White Wolf Game Studios some years ago, and so CCP actually holds the license to the World of Darkness properties. In fact, they have the World of Darkness MMO in development right now. Um, So they're our licensor, and we are their licensee. Uh, We are the official licensee for all Mind's Eye Theater World of Darkness properties. Oh, boy. I have another one. 
Okay. Jeff Colley, again with the easy names. This is great. Yeah, this is crap. What the hell? Uh -huh. Jeff Colley asks, I noticed the deluxe books have a delivery date of February 2014. If we do a combo pack that has a deluxe, a soft cover, and a PDF, will we still get the PDF and or soft cover in December? Okay, fair question. Um, making that gorgeous deluxe edition takes a little bit longer, so our plan is for the standard PDF, soft cover, and hardcover editions of the book to ship before the deluxe edition. Uh, and right now, that is December and February. And it's always difficult to be precise in this business because of uh, unforeseen problems that happen in publishing, but we are driving very hard toward those dates, December for the standard book and February for the deluxe. So you will get the one set before you get the other. Okay, Alyssa, now it's your turn. All right. Um, and I do have to do what I do in every video, which is give a shout-out to our design team who is working tirelessly on getting this book out um, and helping us at these dates. So, you know, Ree, Loopy, Kevin, Jason, not that Jason, other Jason, Jason the Younger, thank you. You guys are wonderful. Um, all right, so continuing with questions. Um, Ryan, see, we talk all the time on Facebook. I don't know if it's Ryan or Ryan. So now you caught me, so I'm sorry. Um, so she has a whole bunch of questions, so we're going to rock them out fast. Um, if I already purchased a Blood and Betrayal ticket from the Los Angeles by Night website, but I also got a limited Blood and Betrayal tier, can I substitute something to get a, an add-on uh, deluxe? Yes, you can. So if you are on, again, any limited tier that has a hardcover and you want a deluxe, you can just add in the $60 um, and we will send you a deluxe instead of a hardcover. If you want a hardcover and a deluxe, then you have to pay the full $120. So, hope that makes sense. Um, next one. So this Gail Cook also asked about this, so you guys are in good company. Um, my tier comes with a hardback book, but if we unlock the deluxe, could I just add the difference? So yes. What I just said, absolutely you can add the difference. It should be really easy. Um, I noticed that the Praxis Seizure and Enlightened Levels don't mention the fledgling rewards. Do the backers still get these rewards? Yes, you do. Everyone gets the fledgling rewards, aside from the ghoul, so if you only pledge $5, sorry. Um, one of the things we've learned with Kickstarter is we can't edit our tiers, so if I forgot something when I was copy and pasting, uh, it's not in the tiers and we can't go back and edit them as soon as they get pledged on. So, you know, as I kind of said at the top of this, this is our very first Kickstarter and it's been a learning process for sure. So we really appreciate, you know, the patience, the feedback. We're trying to make sure that we address everything we can. Um, so, awesome. Okay, so for Praxis Seizure, it says, your character will be finalized approximately three months prior to LA by night. Um, I can't help but notice this is a little over two months between the close of the Kickstarter and LA by night. Should those backers expect to be contacted before it ends? Jason, you want to take that? Sure, I can talk about Los Angeles by night and the Blood and Betrayal premiere game there. Um, the answer is that it's true. The uh, Kickstarter ends within that three-month window, and we do have every intention of contacting you uh, in the three-month window, uh, if at all possible. Um, that's still our plan, and if we can't meet that date, we're going to let you know uh, as soon as we can, but our intention is to give you plenty of time uh, to prepare for Blood and Betrayal in Los Angeles. In my shiny town. Um, this next uh, one's for you, Jason. Ah, uh, this, this name has a this name has a hyphen in it. That's not fair. Whatever. Deal with um, it. Alana Smith Brown asks. Uh, I hope that when you add to types of fame as a background, you add in internet famous and reality TV show famous. Okay, the current fame system doesn't really handle the social media aspects of our life very well. That is an excellent observation, Atlanta. Alana, um, fame in our redesign system does indeed work differently than the old Mind's Eye Theater system, and it provides mechanical benefits in some situations. Uh, for example, when your character interacts with mortals to recognize your character's fame, your character can add a bonus to any social challenges that don't involve disciplines. Uh, our rules govern how far your character's fame spreads, but we don't currently get much more granular than that because the standards of fame differ from country to country and sometimes even from city to city. This is a global game with fans and players all over the world, and so we prefer to let the storyteller judge best what differentiates local from national fame in that particular game, but I think you will be happy with the fame rules, and you can see a preview of them uh, in our alpha vertical slice that's available through our Facebook page. Hmm. 
I think Jennifer is up next, Alyssa. All right. So this one's me. So Miss Jennifer Fuss asks, will this be available on drive through or other retailers after the Kickstarter? So the answer is both yes and no. Um, we do plan to have this available on drive through uh, after the Kickstarter. Everything we raise kind of that will dictate what will be available on drive through in the future for print on demand. Um, in terms of getting the books in your local game stores, we have some retailer packages that are available as Kickstarter tiers now. Um, Kickstarter kind of frowns on there being retailer tiers. They make an exception for gaming, which is why we have a few of these smaller bundles, but we don't have anything that's by a thousand books here. Um, Kickstarter actually would not allow us to do that. Um, but we know that there are troops of people and there are also potentially stores out there that may want packs. Um, so if you have local game uh, retailers who may want to carry the book, let them know about the Kickstarter and let them know about the packs now, because um, it's not something that we currently have plans to offer in the future. So I think we're back to you, Jason. Yes, we are. We are indeed, and we're over to Ryan Blackstock, who has a lot of questions. Okay, in order. Uh, what set of disciplines will Malkavians have? Malkavians have Auspex, Obfuscate, and Dementation. However, there is a bloodline in the game that substitutes Dominate for Dementation. So you get both flavors. Um, he also asks, are the physical dimensions this, of the book the same as for Laws of the Night? Uh, no, ours is larger. I think the actual physical dimensions that we plan to publish are 7 by 10 inches, which is a bit bigger than the old digest size Mind's Eye Theater, slightly smaller than the standard tabletop books. And we do that for a couple of reasons. One, it's a big book and we need more room. And two, we want to show you the um, gorgeous full-color art uh, that our colleague Shane DeFriest has been uh, busy shooting. Um, I think he just got finished a, a 3 a.m. shoot last night. And you'll, you'll see those clans as soon as we can get them to you. Um, but we need a bigger size to showcase uh, the full-color, beautiful art of the book. Uh, let's see. Ryan would also like to know... Will the book cover all the minutiae of the clans? Uh, for example, for Asmites, will there be information on creating sorcerers and viziers? <clears throat> well, there are definitely rules uh, for playing various clan bloodlines uh, or for castes in the case of the Asmites. Uh, and in fact, you can look at how this might appear in the book. For an example, the Crusader's bloodline for the Ventru is in the Alpha Rules vertical slice. If you check that out, you'll see the path that we're taking with those um, uh, with those bloodlines and clan variants. Uh, Kyle's last question is, um, how many Tremere paths will the book contain? Uh, our first thaumaturgy question. I don't think it's going to be the last. I couldn't imagine why. Everybody wants to know about <laughs> thaumaturgy. Uh, maybe it's because it's the only discipline that's been the focus of its own standalone source books. Um, so I do want to mention that uh, for By Night Studios, um, quality of the product and the quality of the rules is our first and foremost consideration rather than quantity. Um, there are many, 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 many paths of uh, thaumaturgy for Tremere and other thaumaturgies as well. And we're going to do all that we think that we can accomplish at a high quality level. Um, but there will definitely be thaumaturgy paths uh, for Tremere and other thaumaturgies in the book. Uh, thaumaturgy is in deep development right now. It's a main focus of our design team, and as soon as we can show you something about it, we will. Uh, oh, I was wrong. I lied. Ryan has one more question. Uh, in terms of other paths and roads outside of humanity, how many of those will be present? Well, again, uh, we want to make sure that the uh, quality of the game and its systems is our paramount concern and not the quantity of any given uh, game element but we will have a very robust and playable system for paths. And as uh, one of our uh, writers, uh, Reese Sosby, has already mentioned to uh, much public acclaim, we will have very clearly defined paths of morality in Mind's Eye Theater, Vampire the Masquerade. Okay, that's enough from Ryan. Your turn. That's never enough from Ryan. All right, yeah. so uh, the next one is from Jan... Willem Kagman, and again, I'm trying with the names. I'm doing my best. I got all the hard ones. Um, if I already ordered a hardcover and I wish to have a deluxe book as well, do I still add on the $40 for overseas shipping? So if you are adding a deluxe book in addition to what you've already ordered, then yes, you will need to add on shipping. 
Um, if you are just upgrading, if you're on one of those limited tiers and you're just adding the $60 to get a deluxe book instead of a hardcover, then we'll need to add on the difference in shipping. So the difference in shipping between hardcover and softcover internationally is $20. Um, that only applies for the international shipping folks. Domestic, um, it's already built in. So, um, Ian Sargent had a question about t-shirts. I was wondering if there could be a t-shirt tier added to commemorate this awesome Kickstarter. So, we are already offering a ton of different add-ons. Um, there's a whole bunch of clan pins, and unfortunately, as I think we've said a couple times, those are limited to this Kickstarter only. Um, CCP was nice enough to give us permission to actually do them for this Kickstarter, which is awesome. So t-shirts are something that we're going to hold in reserve for potentially events that we're at or future Kickstarters. Um, we don't want to try and get a bazillion dollars and make you all broke for this Kickstarter, and we also want to hold some cool things for the future. So that may be something that you see in the future, but not for this one. Um, let's see. Oh, Jason, we're back to you. Oh, wait, no, we have one for me. Kyle Morgan. I finally got an easy name. Um, Kyle asks, is the deluxe version Kickstarter only, or will it be available once the books go to press? So that's something that we're trying to work out. We do want to make sure that the deluxe is available after the Kickstarter ends. Um, we may set up a PayPal option to do that. Um, we also may talk with some of our fulfillment partners about figuring out how to do that beyond the Kickstarter. So right now, no, right now it's Kickstarter only. However, we're actively working on making sure that isn't the case. And now there's another Kyle Morgan question for you, Jason. Hey, how did Kyle get back in here? Okay. <laughs> Kyle. He has a lot of obfuscate. That's how I got Obfuscate or something. Quietus, maybe. I'm not sure. It's, <laughs> it's unclear. It's unclear. Uh, but Kyle Morgan asks us, um, you mentioned that you'll have different settings regarding Sabat, Camarilla, and Anarch in the book. All true. Will you also have different time period settings, such as Dark Ages or Gaslight? Ooh, I do love those settings. Um, we will include rules for creating a custom setting with our current rules so that you can simulate different time periods, such as Dark Ages or Gaslight London. But those settings are deep and rich and deserve many, many, many pages of detail, rules, and support that we just don't have the space to deliver all in the same book. Um, will they appear in future books? Yeah, they might. Um, it depends, again, on what we think we can accomplish and what you want to see. I think David's got a question. It's true. It's true. Um, so David Ashby asks, where can I get the extra items that I would like? Um, we've had a lot of questions about add-ons, specifically for the clan pins. Um, Kickstarter is not particularly intuitive with add-ons, unfortunately. So there is a breakdown in the FA FAQ. It's, again, it's all the way at the end of the Kickstarter page um, that breaks down how you add on, um, whether it's clan pins or whether it's the PDFs that are stretch goals, um, or if you want to just upgrade your pledge and get a, get a deluxe um, for any of those limited tiers. So my best advice would be to go all the way down to the bottom and see the FAQ and walk through step by step. If you still have questions, message us and we can give you kind of a step by step, um, you know, kind of customized guide. Um, and one of the questions we've gotten very frequently that I'm kind of going to tack on to this is there's no way to say what clan you want for your clan pins at current. What's going to happen is when the Kickstarter ends on July 9th, there's going to be a survey that's sent out that says, hey, how many clan pins did you order? What clans do you want for them? So you don't have to worry about specifically picking your clans now. You just have to add in the dollars for how many you want, not exactly which ones you want just yet. So a little confusing. Kickstarter doesn't really let us customize the way that we would like to, unfortunately. Um, all right. Juliano de Miranda asks, if the stretch goals for translation are not accomplished, is there still a chance for the book to get translated after release? So, as my storyteller likes to say, there's always a chance. Um, so, it could happen potentially. Um, the way to guarantee it happening is for us to hit the stretch goals on Kickstarter. That gives us the funding to actually guarantee that we can do this. Um, we do really want to provide translations for other territories, even if we don't hit those stretch goals. However, you know, our mantra, and you heard Jason say it a little bit ago, is doing things at a really high quality level. So we want to make sure that our translations are done incredibly well, which takes a lot of time and it also takes a lot of expense. We have to hire a team that is native speakers. They have to relay it out for those territories. 
Um, and we're willing to do that, and we're willing to explore ways to do that, even if we don't hit those stretch goals. But because we're you know a fairly small publishing company, um, it's something that may be very difficult for us. So we're really hoping we do hit those stretch goals because we want to guarantee those for those other territories. We know this is a huge international community, and we really want to support them in any way that we can. Um, and all right, the very last one is for you, Mr. Jason. Oh, now I get the difficult name. The Bruja have their revenge. I see. I apologize, Ned, if I mispronounce your name. Uh, Ned uh, Coast asks us, will By Night Studios be doing anything at Gen Con, such as previews or play tests? Uh, it's a fair question. Convention season is upon us, and sleep is for the week. Um, <laughs> We don't have plans to attend Gen Con in particular as a company. Um, some of us will be there so that you can find us and talk to us. Um, we don't have a panel presentation or an official preview slated for that particular convention. The best way to find out what we're doing and where we will be is to uh, keep an eye on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash bynightstudios. And we always make a point of letting you know where and when we'll be and what we'll be doing uh, as early as we can. I think that's our last question. Yeah. Is it possible? Uh, so that's all of them. You can see I'm trying very hard to cover up this light switch with my head. Um, it's working so we're for We're planning me. on trying to do these dev diaries um, as frequently as we can, weekly or maybe every two weeks. Um, so you can continue to leave us questions on, on Kickstarter or also on our Facebook, Google+, Plus, Twitter, Tumblr, YouTube. Um, I have to say that. I do our social media. Um, so we want to try and address your questions. Um, we're also really deeply in development for the book, so we may not be able to you know, reply back to every single comment that we get um, on Kickstarter or on YouTube. We're trying our best to keep up. We we'll really are trying. A log of them. We really are. <laughs> I'm not sleeping. Um, we're keeping a log of them, and we're going to try and do more of these dev diaries moving forward. Um, we're also going to try and bring our poor beleaguered writing team on if they can join us. Um, Rick and Shane when they can join us. So you're going to see a number of us and we're going to try and tackle all of your questions as quickly and completely as we can. So leave them. If you don't get an immediate you know, comment back in 24 hours, we're sorry. We will definitely do our best to try and address them in the next video diary if we can. Um, so that's everything. So Team Los Angeles out. Team Seattle? Team Seattle out. Thanks everybody. We'll see you yeah, soon. Yeah, we really appreciate it. Thank you for all the support.